the 2009 remake of Friday 13 came out back on February 13 of that year. And I have to say, this is by far the second worst Friday 13 film I've ever seen. Okay, I only got two positives I have to really say about this film. The first positive is J- Jared Padalecki, who plays um, one of the main um, actor, the main leads in the film. Uh, for those of you who know Jared Padalecki, he's an amazing actor. Of course, he's still doing Supernatural on the CW. And, you know, in this film, his character does a pretty good job. The second positive is Derek Myers as Jason Voorhees. And he's the most impressive Jason Voorhees, probably right after Kane Hodder. And um, that's where my positives would end. Um, when I saw this film uh, nine years ago, I thought it could be entertaining, but it's, it's just straight out being boring. And I really couldn't give a damn less if any of those characters live or die. All but um, Clay, by the way. I said played by Jack Padalecki. Since this is a reboot, so as you will, this has no connection to the prior films that came out back in the 1980s. Um, the story is um, a g- group of campers and getting the film go out and to go uh, camping at uh, Camp Crystal Lake and all of them are slaughtered by Jason and then one ends up missing, which is Whitney, a.k.a. Uh, Clay's sister. And then from there, the movie just kind of just takes a long detour for uh, Clay to find his sister. Um, I have to say, um, Dan... Daniel Panbecker, she did a good job to what she had in the film as well. I didn't mention her, but um, um, she was a nice addition to the film. You know, um, the negatives I really have with the film is, like I said, there's virtually no chemistry with the uh, actors and actresses in this film. Um, there's way too much damn um, funny, you know, moments in the film. And, um... It's more newly in this one than there was in the other films. So I don't got a problem with newly. I'm just saying, like, they use it as a main focal point between those those three scenes you pretty much point out that really shouldn't, like, how I say it, really add nothing to the story. When I watch a movie, I watch the story first and then character second. And this movie pretty much did a shit job of that. Okay. I'm giving this a 4 out of 10. Um, this movie's pretty bad. Uh, do me a favor. For those who have never seen this movie, don't waste your time. It's not worth it. I, when I saw this film, like I said, back in theaters, back in 09. Um, and like I said, it wasn't great. It's just a generally bad film. Like I said before, the second worst film in the franchise with um, The Final Friday being the first, but if anything, there hasn't been a Friday 13 film since um, this film came out. And there's a reason for that. There's been, this franchise has been stuck in the film in hell for like almost a decade now. And just last year, or yeah, just last year, the rights um, reverted back to New Line Cinema, who directed most of the films. Uh, one thing I have to say, if there's any bright spot about this film, other than the ones I mentioned, is that... At least the uh, suspense is at, like, at a high level, I guess, towards the latter part of the film. Okay, and that's my review of Friday 13, the 2009 reboot. Now, leave your comments below. And just generally let me know what you think of this film overall between all the other films I review. Speaking of the other films, Part 8, Part 9, Jason X, and Jason vs. Ray, I'll review those later on my channel sometime down the line. But I just want to get to the Halloween franchise because I don't really know if the Halloween movie's out in theaters pretty much. By the time you watch this video, and I can't wait to review that whole entire franchise there. I'll be feeling every film I'll probably. It's up for the third film, because third film not have any uh, correlation with the, you know, the whole franchise as a whole. But anyway, uh, what you think about this franchise? You know, that's a whole entire series. 
Uh, what's your favorite film out of the 12 films of this? All right. This is Slum God 172 saying, peace out.